So, what we want to do, you want me to replace that with it? What 12 ampere two current? Amp, two, two ampere amp. current source. Yeah. Okay. So, what I will do? 2 amperes. Yes. And the rest of the circuit remains the same. Remains the same. Okay. And what do I want to find? Let us say the voltage across now, across the 40 ohm. Across the 40 ohm? Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. So, I want to find out the voltage across the 40 ohm resistor. Mm, so, okay. this is not so straightforward, right? You this can't say so that the 2 amp is flowing through 40 ohm, for example. We there are multiple that. currents there coming There are multiple yeah. currents coming Okay. Yeah. okay. So, I clearly have to use uh, um, uh, superposition. Yeah. That is the easiest way That's probably. That is the easiest way to do this, right? Correct. So, let us use superposition, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, one by one, uh, we will apply the sources. Yeah. So, let us start with the 2 ampere source. Yes. Okay. 2 ampere so source. So, we will use superposition. So, let me make a copy of this to go to the next page. Hmm. So, my first step. So, I have only my 2 ampere only source. Two amperes. Okay. So, what I will do, I will redraw my network such that the 24 volts is de energized. Which means it is a, so short, it's circuit. a short circuit. Great. Okay. Okay. And I want to find out the voltage across the 40 ohm resistor. Correct. Okay. So, I can actually do this many ways again. Hmm. So, one way is to find out the, um, well, what I actually want is, so let me call this A and B. Yeah. I want to find out the A, B. Yes. Right? Because they are all in parallel. All in parallel. So, one easy way is to just find out the equivalent resistance, resistance. of three resistors in parallel. Yeah. I find out 2 amperes is flowing through that equivalent Correct. resistance. Yes. So, maybe I will do it that way. Yes. So, 2 amps. Again, the important thing for the students to learn is that there are probably many ways of doing the problem. Exactly. Right? What I could do, I could find out the current flowing through the 40 ohm resistor yes. and then multiply that by 40. Yes. Exactly. Right? So, I could do that as well. So, okay, let us do it like this. Yeah. So, I basically have 2 ampere in parallel with my equivalent resistance, yes. which is, uh, well, 60 parallel 40, 60 parallel, parallel 40 parallel 8. 8. So, so it is this is easy because it is 60, 60 parallel 40 is 2400 by 100. 2400, which is 24, 24 ohms. ohms, right? So, we will we'll do it one by one step yes. by step there. Yeah. So, we have done uh, 8 ohms. Yeah. So, 60 parallel 40 is, is uh, 24, 24 ohms. ohms. Right? right. And now, there is 24 so, parallel 8. Correct. So, so it is 24 is times 8 by 32. Right? Correct. 24 by 4, which is 6 ohms. 24 into 8 by 32. Yeah. So, 4 and 6 ohms. Six Correct. Ohms. Perfect. Right. 2 amperes and 6 ohms. 6 ohms. Yeah. And I have still maintained A and B. A and B. Yeah, we have not lost. The basic not lost main it. thing is we have not lost those nodes. We have not lost it. Right. So, we want the voltage here, right? Yes. So, I will call this the A, B 1. Yeah. Okay. This is basically 2 times 6, 12 volts. 12 volts. Plus 12 volts. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, this is when I consider only the 2 ampere. Yeah. So, next step is to consider, so this is only the 24 volts. Yes. Right. Only the 24. Okay. Volts. Okay. Great. So, what I will do, I need to open circuit the 2 ampere source. Yes. So, I will remove this. You just remove it and open circuit. Open yes. circuit it. Great. <coughs> now, again, my problem becomes a little bit simpler. I know how to tackle this. Yes. 60, again, I am going to maintain A and B. Yeah. 60 and 40 in parallel, we saw was 24 ohms. 24 ohms. So, this basically becomes a 24 volt. Uh, okay. So, which is, it is a 24 volt battery in series with 8 ohms. Yeah. I should not lose that A and B. Yes. In series with uh, 24 ohms. Yes. 24 which is 60 ohms. in parallel with 40 ohms. Yes. And this is A and this is B. B. And we want to find VAB. VAB. So, we want yeah. to find out VAB. Yes. Again, this is easy. We know how to do this. The current is 24 by 8 plus 24. Yes. So, the current is... is is basically 24 times I. This is current as I. Uh, so basically, uh, this 24 VAB, ohms 
24 times ohms I, times I. I yeah. So this is 24 ohms times 24 volts by 8 plus 24. Yeah. Okay. So this 8 plus 24 ohms. Uh, yeah, sorry, 8 plus 24 ohms. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 8 ohms plus 24 ohms. Yeah. So 32, 24 by 32 is 3 by 4. Yeah, 3 by 4. Uh, so 18, 18 volts. volts. Plus 18 volts again. Yes. Exactly. This is VAB2. Yeah. So now I know VAB is the sum of the two uh, voltages. So what did we get? We got uh, 12 volts here and 18 volts. 18 volts here. So this, this is 30, 30 volts. volts. Right. Okay. Nice. And once you know the voltage, you can also find the current through the. You can resistor, find the current right? through the 40 ohm resistor. And, and correct. Okay. And so now you can also find out the current through the 60 ohm resistor if you want. Exactly. Because, because the, the same, same voltage. Correct. Right. It's the same. Basically, 60 and 40 are in 60 parallel. 60 and 40. And now you can also find the current through the 8 ohm resistor. Yes. Right. You can now find out that uh, in this network, that VAB seems to be critical. Exactly. Right. Right. Because it's 24 in series, and we know the potential difference there is 30 volt. That's right. right. And you That's can right. find. Okay. Interesting. So. Um, so, one more problem now with a slightly different looking topology. Oh, okay. Right. So, uh, I have a 0.2 ampere current source. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see, see what is this? Is it flowing upwards or downwards? It is flowing upwards. Upwards. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah, this is a little tricky to draw. So, okay. why don't you just look at it and draw? Ah, okay, I see why it's tricky. Yeah. Okay, so I have a resistor which is like this, connected like this. Yeah. And uh, the other arm of the triangle also has the resistance. Yes. Okay, and I have, okay, interesting. <clears throat> okay, so I need to draw it better. Can you tell me if I've got all of it? Yes. Yeah, you got 200 ohms, 200 ohms on the triangular. Okay. 500 ohms on the shunt resistor. Oh, here? Yeah. And 25 ohms, that's that series resistor, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's say we want to find VAB again. Here it's really not superposition okay. and all that, but okay. just to deal with the current source. <laughs> this is just to deal with the current source and different topologies of the resistances. Resistances, yeah. Okay. So already I can see that uh, this node and this comp Complicated node. Yeah. Are the uh, are you have two 200 ohm resistors across yes. in parallel. Yes. It's just been drawn like a triangle. Triangle. But in reality, you have two 200 ohm resistors in parallel. Parallel. That is 100 ohms. Yes. Right. Correct. So I will already simplify that a little bit. Mm. So I'll simplify it in this manner, and I'll redraw it using yeah. rectangular uh, uh, networks as we know. Right? Yes. 0.2 amperes. Yeah. I have taken two 200 ohm resistors in parallel. 100 ohms and now I have 25 ohms in series and, and uh, 500, 500 ohms, ohms in parallel. Yeah. And I want to find out the voltage across the 500 ohms. Ohms resistor, yeah, exactly. Okay, so this is A and this is B. B. Okay, if, um, all I need to do is find this current here. Yes. Right? So maybe I will call these currents I1 and I2. I2. So I want to find out uh, I2. I2. And I know yesterday or uh, the previous class rather, yes. we saw that the current in one arm exactly. depends on the resistance in the other, other arm. arm. Right? right. So, so therefore, I can already say I2 that I2 is basically 100 by, by uh, 100 plus uh, 25, plus oh, 500. Okay. this should have been 25 ohms. Yeah. Uh, plus, plus 500, 500. ohms. So, I have 525 ohms on the other arm, <coughs> I add that to 100 yeah. for the denominator. Yes, into this times 0.2 amps. 0.2 amperes. Yeah, great. So, this is by 100 by 625. Yes. Uh, 100 times 0.2 is 20 by 625 yeah. amperes. Amperes. This is right. I2. This is I2. Correct. So, uh, the volt VAB yeah. is simply I2 times 500. Yes. 500 ohms. So, this is basically uh, 10,000 by 625. Yes. 500 times uh, 20 is 10,000 by 625. Yeah. So, it is uh, 25 into uh, 400, mm. right? Yeah. Isn't it? 
Yes. 425 by 625. 400 so, 425. 400 by 25, yes. which is about 8. Which no, is a, which is about 16. Which is about 16. Correct. 16 volts. 16 uh, volts. Correct. Okay. So, uh, I think that is good. So, maybe we will just solve uh, one more problem mm -hmm. with, uh, you know, this current sources, right. So, let us just look for one more interesting problem. Yeah. Thank you.